When President Donald Trump took steps to protect Americans from terrorism, Canada's Justin Trudeau virtue signaled up a storm. He promised to welcome all refugees into his low-population country. It looks like all his grandstanding has gotten his country into a heap of trouble. President Trump promised to put America first. Apparently, that's an evil thing to say to liberals. The dishonest left claimed Trump's desire to help Americans was tantamount to racism and genocide. Always the overdramatic. Liberals are, once in office. Trump went to work to make good on his promise. A few leftists might not agree, but the overwhelming majority of citizens wanted the president to protect us from illegal aliens and terrorists. A big part of that plan was to enact strict vetting on those who enter our country, especially people from places with known ties to terrorism. In order to improve our vetting, Trump signed an executive order to halt entry from seven countries, based on Obama's administration that had close ties to terrorism. It makes sense if you're not a virtue signaling, brain-dead leftist. Democrats claimed this was the end of the world. Trump was going to war with Muslims, patently untrue. Even some Muslim groups protested in airports, because the best way to win over Americans is by inconveniencing them at the most stressful places in the country. To add fuel to the leftist fire. Prime Minister of Canada Justin Trudeau took to Twitter to warmly welcome all those people Trump cruelly rejected. To those fleeing persecution, terror and war, Canadians will welcome you, regardless of your faith. Diversity is our strength. Ash welcome to Canada. Justin Trudeau, at Justin Trudeau, January 28, 2017. This is very obvious, dishonest distortion of what Trump was doing. Trump didn't turn away legitimate refugees. The United States welcomes in thousands of refugees a year. Trump never turned anyone away because of their faith. In fact, the largest Muslim countries were not included in his travel halt. That didn't stop Canada's own Obama from grandstanding. Trudeau got what he wished. A deluge of refugees. An unprecedented amount of people entered his country in the last two years. But how have things gotten on since Canada joined the ranks of Europe to welcome thousands of strangers? Not great. Remember right after President Donald Trump was inaugurated and mobs of protesters packed JFK International in New York and other airports to protest the new administration's so-called Muslim ban? Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau was quick to welcome any and all refugees to head just a little bit further north. Heck, Trudeau might have even welcomed you personally at the airport. The subtweet to end all subtweets. Olivia Nuzzi, at Olivia Nuzzi, January 28, 2017. Source, Twitchy. We can speculate why Trudeau, like American liberals and European socialists, wanted the wholesale importation of refugees and migrants into our countries. It has nothing to do with compassion and everything to do with drastically altering the voting demographics of their nations. Import thousands, in some cases millions, of uneducated, unassimilated strangers. You can tell them what to think and how to vote. You will win every election from here to the end of time. Who cares about real citizens, am I right? Vicious speculation. I know, but how else can you explain the fact that Canada has lost track of over 50,000 refugees? Prime Minister Justin Trudeau's election promise to welcome 25,000 refugees from Syria was aimed at showing voters his compassion. The follow-up photo opportunities he arranged in 2015 with smiling Syrian refugees, such as doctors, drew international headlines. Given the grand gestures. You would be forgiven for believing the federal liberals and the department responsible for refugees would be tracking the fate of the tens of the thousands of struggling Syrians that Canada has recently taken in. But, after more than two weeks of inquiries by Post Media, a media relations officer acknowledged the department has not produced any report in almost two years on the about 50,000 Syrian refugees now in Canada. Source, Vancouver Sun. It's pretty bad when Germany and Sweden, Nations falling apart thanks to unchecked migration, is reportedly doing better jobs at keeping track of their refugees. Canada has no clue where these people went, what they are doing, and how they are getting on with Canadian citizens. According to the only report, made one year after Trudeau entered office, half of the refugees had jobs, but only 10% of those getting government assistance were employed. The majority of these people were uneducated and illiterate. Now they know nothing about this group. 
Are they still in the country? Are they working? What is going on? This is the kind of crack accountability you can expect from liberals. Like Trudeau, Democrats want to welcome legions of strangers into the United States. They want to weigh us down with paying for their education, health care, and housing. But most of these people are undocumented. We don't know about them, or if they are even law-abiding citizens. The worst part is that in America, Democrats want to do this for illegal immigrants and migrant refugees. They want a huge group of people coming in, with zero credibility as to their identities or backgrounds. After they're settled, as in Canada's case, they'll simply disappear from their records, until, of course, it's time to vote. If a country is going to place the burden of refugees onto its people, the least they can do is follow up. But it seems like liberals don't believe in accountability. It's a wonder why anyone supports them.